Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We next month have the Uranus flyby next phase, and we have the Mars Prep robotic rover launch. So that is pretty cool. We have a new request mission here. Power module with China. I don't want to do anything with China because I want to be antagonistic with them. So we're not doing that. That is really powerful though. Can restart a task once per mission. That is really powerful. But I don't want to do that. And we don't have any mission slots anyway. We have four Mars prep missions underway. Three of them in the planning stage. And the robotic rover which is launching next month. And then we have the Uranus flyby. Which is the final stage next month. So that will free up a mission slot for us. However, we don't really have any... Uh, do we... I think I think we have all of these underway. Yeah. I think we have all of these underway. So we have the crude rover underway. We have the crude lander underway we have the engine and hab underway yeah and the robotic rover so yeah everything is underway we're researching the sls block 2 at the moment though it's going slow we don't have a much that much science at the moment but we are researching the SLS Block 2 booster, and then we'll do the upper stage afterwards. And then I actually think maybe we'll do the supplementary boosters, because they give provide a bit of reliability. And I think we need to do a money mission if we can find one. But let's move on. Next mission phase ready for the Uranus flyby. And we are ready to launch the robotic rover. It's a 10 month mission. We are going to be first because no one else even has the science yet. It's super reliable in all ways. Let's launch. And the conditions are perfect. And we have the advanced guidance system, which ensures that we get a positive event if we don't blow up, which we really shouldn't. So uh, let's launch this baby. One. And we have liftoff. Wonderful. It's a pretty cool looking rocket. That is a pretty cool looking rocket. Very nice. And plus one turn on first task and mission. Okay. And the Ariane 5s get their first bit of reliability upgrade. So that is nice. And there's our robotic rover lander. Into Mars orbit. Collect 6 and 6. Okay. So we have 3 turns. 5 commands per turn. So, in reality, we would only have had two. Okay. So, we need 11 nav and 11 thrust to get our 50% bonus reward, which means that we need to hit this three times on the last turn. So, that means we need six data and three comms for the last turn. All right. 
think we can get that. Let's do a visual spectrum sampling for four data. Then we can spend two of those data to get six comms, which we can then turn into some manual thrust, which will give us eight nav and four data. And then I think we'll boost the transmission again to give us an additional six comms. Yeah, I think that's a solid first turn. And our payload is nice and reliable, 90%. Don't ever say stuff like that now. We'll resist it. Okay, so we can do another manual adjustment. That gives us what we need for nav. Then we can actually do a infrared mapping. We still have what we need for nav. We're only spending one. And then we can do three calculated thruster burns. And that completes it with the bonus reward one turn ahead of schedule. So we didn't need that extra turn that we got from the positive event, but it doesn't hurt having it. And there we go. 50% bonus reward. Very nice. Beautiful, and they are ecstatic in mission control. 768 support, 168 science for five months. And, oh, then we have the Uranus Uran flyby, which will hopefully give us some science. And we'll free up a mission slot for, um, I think a money mission is what we need. There's some heat stuff here. We need to keep it above zero, I guess. 16 of each we need. We have six turns, four commands per turn. And we need to keep it above zero and below three. Okay. So. We do a visual spectrum sampling. Uh, oh, and heat goes down two per turn. Okay. Then we do a gyroscopic stabilization. We need 16 of each. Then... I think we do another gyroscopic stabilization. And an external sensor alignment. That gives us 4, 3, and 8 on the first turn. Uh, and we're up to 2 heat, so I think that's pretty good. We're not super reliable, though. Which is not great. Okay. Turn complete. We'll go back down to zero heat. And I think we'll do a data compression and a packet transfer. That takes us to 13, 4, and 4. Then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. And an external center alignment. That takes us to 14, 5, and 9. And our heat is within bounds. Packet transfer transferred. We stabilized. The sensors aligned. And well, it goes back down to zero. So 
So, what's next? I'm actually thinking four of these. That'll take us to 16, 7, and 7. Uh, 6, 17, and 17, sorry. But we do need to do some heat stuff. So we'll do two of them. And then we'll do one each of these. That takes us to 19, 12, and 9. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice bonus. An extra data there. And our heat will go to minus one. Well, it can't go to minus one, so it goes to zero. All right. Well, we can do a gyroscopic stabilization, and then we can do three of these. That'll get us there. We'll be within parameters, we'll get our 50% bonus reward, and we complete it with two turns in hand. That is pretty good. Oh, and we can re just resist that. That's fine. Resist it. And we have our bonus! And we are flying by Saturn. No, Uranus. Sorry. Very nice. And that frees up a mission slot. We did it first. A little extra support. And we get 1,757 support and 1,466 signs for four months. That is pretty darn nice. That is pretty darn nice. Cool. Cool. So Uranus flyby is done. Let's see, we have a request mission here. Impact analysis. It's lucrative. It's a nine-month mission. Let's see what we have on Earth. Nothing for money. So let's go to Mars. And we will just send it spark standard because there are just, the others will reduce reliability, which I do not like. Okay, let's continue on to next month. And uh, next phase of the robotic wheelchair is in five months. And then Seraphic completes in five months as well. Uh, that's this one, the Crude Rover. Okay. Ground debris tracker averts disaster. Ground-based radar system designed to detect orbital debris set up with the help of your agency has managed to prevent a potentially disastrous collision involving a satellite belonging to NASA. NASA publicly praised the system and has provided additional financial backing to ensure its continuation. Gain 25 reputation with NASA. We're already maxed. SLS Block 2 research complete. A massive liquid-fueled super heavy lift rocket capable of launching extremely large payloads into earth orbit and beyond very nice and the impact analysis uh, probe is ready supplementary booster reliability bonus increased by 200 percent okay i don't really think we need it uh, We'll go with the cheapest that we can. Oops. Ah, my mouse. Alright, so that's the Gina And the Atlas, I guess. Actually, you know what? If we do this, it costs 1.2 million, but look at the launch reliability. 
But if we just do this, we still have very good launch reliability and it's cheaper. So let's just go with that. I think I want uh, advanced shock absorption for the payload reliability. And that's all good. 1.1 million. Build that. That'll take five months. We need to start the SLS Block 2 upper stage. That costs 10,000 science. All right, next month. New Uranus moons discovered. Your Uranus flyby mission has discovered no fewer, no fewer than 10 new moons orbiting the gas giant Uranus. Mostly small and made up of water, ice, and rock, the new satellites have all been named after Shakespearean characters in keeping with Uranus' five previously known moons. Gained 750 science. Nice. Very nice. All right. Next phase of the robotic rover coming up, as well as the seraphic being complete. Uh, all right. Not the prettiest rocket in the world, but it's a rocket. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. Okay. We're already quite reliable, so I'm gonna do science. And, whoa. February of 95. I guess we're going there because there is no optimal launch window before it. So that's like in one and a half year or something. One year, four months. Oh well. Mars Prep Robotic Rover up next. And that is the mid-course maneuver. And we need to get drift up to minus three. Well, we need to get drift to minus... Oh, no, no wait. We need to get drift to two to three, and we'll get minus three drift at the end of the turn. We have two turns, six commands. We need 10 thrusts, so we need to do this twice next turn. And the calculated thrust to burn, which means that we need six and three, six data, three nav, which means we need 13 data and 10 nav before then. All right. So let's do a visual spectrum sampling. Then we can do a couple of packet transfers. Then do an infrared mapping. I think an infrared mapping again. And then another packet transfer, maybe? No, that, that's not going to work. We need to get this up higher. So let's do a visual spectrum sampling then do two packet transfers. Then do an infrared mapping and another two packet transfers. That works. And then we just need a lot of data next turn, which we can get. We can get. We have six commands per turn, so we can do this three times. That takes us to 16, which is enough. Then we can hit this three times. Confirm. 
Packet transfer is good. Packet transfer is good. Uh, this is that. And there we go. We are within our drift parameters. And we can simply do one, two, three. One, two, three. 50% bonus reward achieved. And all is fine and dandy. So, three infrared mappings, three calculated thruster burns. We can resist three times. That's one. Actually, we can accept that. Because we will still have enough. There we go. Bonus award. Reward achieved. And we are on our way. Nice, nice, nice. And we get... 768 support, 168 signs for four months. We are not getting a lot of science at the moment. We have the Anubis complete in two months. Then we have the funding review in three months. And the next maze phase, next maze, next phase of the Mars prep robotic rover in four months. All right, we have a new mission here, a horrible one. Well, it's not horrible, but it's not exactly exciting. All right, impact analysis vehicle complete. Let's do some launch preparations. We want payload reliability. And February is the earliest optimal launch date. So these are all invalid. We could do a suboptimal launch date in October. So if we do launch reliability, focus instead and then do an October launch that gives us 79 launch reliability I think that's okay I think that's okay confirm mission setup launch in 10 months all right next month funding review we got around 4,000 which is kind of nice actually but yeah, still 20,000 to go to the next funding tier. All right. Next mission phase of our robotic rover. And that's the last phase that will free up a mission slot for us. And we'll focus heavily on science missions now. All right, achieve Mars orbit. We need to get our drift up to eight to nine. Wow, and we get minus five. Wow. We need 25 comms, six data, six nav. All righty. So we do a visual spectrum sampling times two. Then we do one, two, three, four gyroscopic stabilizations. That gives us 12, zero, and 12. Then we can spend on data compression 
next turn. And this. So, yeah, I think this is fine. All right. So, we need to do a visual spectrum sampling, which takes us up. And I think we need, actually need to do two of them. Then we could do a packet transfer and two data compressions and that gets us there yeah 25 percent bonus reward everything is good we are within the margins for the drift we can even recharge our power once we can resist four out of five all is good So we can resist this, which we will do. Let's resist it. And there we go. We have our bonus reward and we are heading down to the service. Oh, no. Achieve Mars orbit first. Uh, perform Mars descent. So we achieved Mars orbit and now we need to perform Mars descent. Cool. All right, we need to deal with heat and drift. So, drift, we can have no drift whatsoever. We get eight heat at the end of this turn, and we need to keep it below three. Wow. All right. We need 25 nav. We need 25 nav. So if we do a visual spectrum sampling and a location extrapolation, we can then do an infrared mapping. Uh, damn. Wait a second. If we do a location extrapolation, then we do infrared mappings times two. Then we do a visual spectrum sampling to bring it back. And then we do two gyroscopic stabilizations. That gives us seven of the 25 we need. I think this will work. Not if you do like that. Alright, gyroscopic stabilization is good. So we will do two orbital plane adjustments, then we'll do all of those. Heat shouldn't matter. It's not checking heat, so let's do this.
And there we go. We have our robotic rover. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. We're first. And we finished first in two milestones, which gives us six million. I forgot about that. Five thousand support and three hundred and fifty three science for twenty months. Okay. I've got an achievement, Red Rover. Alright, so Mars Redness, we are actually a go. Our mission chance of mission success is low, but we are we are up there where we need to be. As a matter of fact. We have the acts. We need the crude Mars landing research. And then we need these two. Which we will do. So let's see what mission do we have? A Jupiter mission. Atmospheric probe. Wow, 8 million. 8.8 million. It's a lot of science, but it just. There's. The missions take such a long time. Let's see what we have on Earth. I really, really don't want to do this mission with China. Moon, we have lunar radiation, which is lucrative. I don't care about lucrative missions right now. We have money, and we're, we have more money coming in. So I guess we'll do a solar wind monitoring. It's a quick little thing to do. We'll give it the extra power. Millions follow Mars rover landing. Millions online followed intense anticipation as your Mars rover, Rosalind Franklin, after nine months of travel, attempted the formidable task of landing on the Red Planet. Aware the awareness of the mission has been ha has been vastly increased by a PR campaign that involved the public submitting their names to be taken to Mars via an etched plaque attached to the rover. An online stream showed the mission control staff holding their breath for several minutes of terror during the descent before finally tears erupted as Rosalind Franklin returned its first image of the surface and one of its wheels confirming its safe landing. Gained 500 support. Nice. We have a new Mars mission. Atmospheric sensors. That's not a bad mission. It's shorter. It was only nine months instead of 21 months. So, yeah. And our Mars prep ground habit wanted. Don't really need to do that. No. The next thing we're researching is these two. Yep. The Ezra 2B is complete this month. Honorary Ward retires. After that, Honorary Ward has retired and will no longer be available for missions. There's a little typo there and will no longer will be. Okay, solar wind monitoring, plus 10 launch reliability, minus 10 payload reliability. That kind of sucks. All right, last design a vehicle for it. We will just use the tiniest ones that we have, the Topaz and the Emerald. We have no upgrade points. It's all good. 67,000 confirmed. Takes two months to build. Quick little mission. And it's all good. SLS Block 2 research complete. Very nice. Now. I'm wondering, do we even have room for any buildings? We do have next to our large launch pad.
Uh, what will it cost? Hmm. It was here. All right. So it will cost a little to move this. I don't really want to move it because I get the bonuses there. And it's all good. It's all good. We could do the um, the soundproofing, water soundproofing. Improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad. I am. Um, let's quickly see. We also have a new mission right here at Saturn. A Titan flyby. Okay. We have a joint mission with Russia now. All right. Now, let's do the crude moon landing. Let's quickly take a look here at Mars. Crude Mars landing suggested. Yeah, so we need the boosters as well. Change research to the boosters. Okay. And that's fine. And just to be sure, Uh, so, we were first here. Japan now has the science for the crude rover. Well, they already did it. They actually had the science before us. They're just not planning the mission yet, which is a bit weird. Uh, we are planning that. We are planning that. No one even has the science for it. No one has the science for that, for the ground hab, including us. And then for the crude Mars landing, obviously no one has the uh, science for that either. All right, next month, where we'll be have the solar wind monitoring vehicle complete. Let's do launch preparations. We'll do science. The payload isn't super reliable, but it's okay. We'll go in August, confirm. And we'll go on that mission uh, in the next one, guys, because we are pretty much out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.